Hola, clase. Soy Señor Maresca. Well, today's lesson is about the preterite one more time, and it concerns stem-changing verbs. Now, before we begin, what you need to remember is that we have AR, ER, and IR stem-changing verbs in the present tense. In the preterite, the verbs that stem change and are AR or ER verbs will not stem change in the preterite. Now, there are a couple of exceptions for the ER, but we won't worry about that now. You need to remember that AR and ER verbs that stem change in the present do not stem change in the preterite. And here's some examples right here for you using the verbs cerrar, mover, jugar. And as I mentioned before, IR verbs that stem change in the present, like the verb pedir, will stem change in the preterite. But first, let's take a look at the present tense of pedir. Notice how it stem changes in the present tense. It's a boot verb. Pido, pides, pide, pedimos, pedis, piden. It stem changes in the boot. Just like that. Other IR verbs that stem change in the present are listed right here below. Pedir, repetir, servir, preferir, vestirse, seguir, divertirse, conseguir, dormir, morir. These stem change in the present tense. They're all IR verbs and that's the key. Now before we get to how they stem change in the preterite, all of these IR verbs, we need to remember the preterite endings for IR verbs. E, iste, io, imos, isteis, ieron. That's the endings for the IR verbs in the preterite. Now, in the preterite, they stem change. These IR verbs that stem change in the present will stem change in the preterite, but not in the boot, only in the L, eos form. And this is what I like to call the hot dog verbs. Boop. So we have pedi, pediste, and then here's your stem change right here. The E will be changing to an I. Pedimos, pedisteis, pidieron. Almost all of the verbs that are IR verbs that stem change in the present will stem change E da I in the L eos form. So here is your rule for IR verbs that stem change in the present. They will also stem change in the preterite. I like to call them the hot dog verbs because their stem change only occurs in the el eos form. Now most of the IR verbs that stem change in the preterite will go e to i. That's their stem change, e to i. There are two, however, that will go o to you and we'll see them in a couple minutes. So let's take a look at one more verb that stem changes in the present, e to i, and also would stem change in the preterite, e to i. Remember that they only stem change in the el eos form. This is the hot dog. Repeti, repetiste, repitio. There's the stem change right there. Repetimos, repetisteis. Repitieron. Now, class A, based on the two verbs you just took a look at, pedir and repetir, can you do these six verbs in the preterite? Remember the stem change them in the hot dog, the el ellos form. And we'll find out how they look tomorrow. So go ahead and do those on your sheet right now. Now, there are two verbs that stem change in the preterite, the hot dog way, with the O changing to a U in the stem. And that's the verb dormir. Dormir is one of them. So we have dormi, dormiste, and then we have durmio. Only O to U. Dormimos, dormisteis, durmieron. That's the hot dog. O to you only for the verb dormir. And so what is the next verb 
the second verb that then changes in the preterite, an IR verb, O to you. Well, let's find out. Well, the second verb that stem changes, O to you, in the preterite, and here it is, O to you, in the preterite, is the verb moria. Pueden ustedes formar este verbo en el preterito. Vamos a ver mañana, o en la próxima clase. So, you just took a look at the preterite stem changing verbs. But now let's take a look at the spell changing verbs in the preterite. And you already know one group, but let's review. Well, the group you already know, class A, are the verbs that end in car, C-A-R, gar, and zar. You already know these, that in the yo form, they have a spell change. In the yo form only. The C-A-R verbs go to que, G-A-Rs go to ge, Z-A-Rs go to say. But here's a group you may not know about. These are spell changing verbs and the three most important verbs are creer, leer, oír. And the first thing you need to know about these verbs is that the I in the yo, tu, nosotros, vosotros forms will have an accent over the I. But in the usted, el, ella, and ustedes, ellos, ellas form, the I is going to change to a Y. So take a look. We have the verb creer. Creí, creíste, and then we have creyó. Creímos, creísteis, creyeron. Likewise with the verb leer. And the verb oír también is the same way. Leí, leíste, leyó, leímos, leísteis, leyeron. Oí, oíste, oyó, oímos, oísteis, oyeron. Spanish does not like to have three vowels in a row because it's much easier for them to change the I that's in the middle of the three vowels to a Y. That's why they do that. The I, whenever it is between two other vowels, will naturally change to a Y. That's the rule. Ok, ahora vamos a practicar más en clase. Nos vemos. Gracias.